Hey guys, it's Evil Chief here today, and I'm going to show you how to build a very simple iPhone app in Xcode. Now, today what I'm going to show you, this is actually a remake of my previous video, because the other one was literally horrible. Um, right now, what I'm going to show you is how to create a very simple Hello World app for the iPhone. Now, here you can, here if you are, if you build your ability to code Objective C you can make some really awesome games and uh, so let, let's show you right now on what we are going to create today so we're, we're gonna push this button and what happens is there is this animation where it becomes bigger and smaller forever and ever and this hide button can hide itself and the, and the image when we push again the text will show and okay so yeah, let's jump right into Xcode to begin. But before we do that, you're going to have to install Xcode. So, what you have to, do, what you want to do is pop open your App Store and do a search for Xcode in here. So just CC Xcode Developer Tools, and you can see um, it has an image of a hammer and a and the letter A. So let's open that up. I will show you what's inside. Okay. I am using currently Xcode 7.1. However, there is a new update, but since I'm doing a video right now, I don't. It'll be a pain to you know show you how it's updating. So you guys can just, I'm sorry, you guys can just um update it if you if you want to. And Xcode is what you will need to develop iPhone games, and this is what you need to code Objective C. If you're using a different version of Xcode, things will look slightly different. But overall, everything should work in the same way. Okay, so now let's jump right into Xcode to begin. As you can see here, I'm as I said earlier, I was using Xcode version 7.1. Now, what we're gonna do today is um, a hell of a project, as I said earlier. So, to start off, click on Create a new Xcode project, and we want an application under iOS, and we want a single view application and hit next and name, we're gonna name our product so you can call it whatever you want I'm gonna call mine video tutorial and make sure the language is set to objective C and the devices is iPhone make sure all three are ticked you can leave you can make them on ticked if you want to but I'm gonna leave all three on and hit, and hit next save it somewhere nice and safe and now we have created our project so now here in Xcode, we're gonna go into our deployment info. So, oh, oops, it's still loading actually. Okay, now go to our deployment info. As you can see here, if if, it look, if your thing looks like this, just simply click the arrow to show it. And we're gonna make our device orientation to upside down and untick landscape left and right. Because our app is gonna be portrait mode, as we showed earlier. Now move on to the left side here. Um. The one with main that storyboard and view controller and those stuff. But if if you, if you don't have this, so for example, your Xcode looks like this. Simply, simply, if it looks like this, is simply go back here and put it as like so. Make sure these two are ticked. So not ticked, they're blue. This is the debug menu, which will show whatever crashed your application if if it crashes. You can enable that if you want to, but it takes up too much space, so I'd rather not. Um, okay, so now go to our main storyboard. This is where we design the apps. Oops, this is where we design the apps interface. So I'm gonna remove this on the left. And now we start up with a with a blank, nice, nice interface. So I'm gonna drop down the size to three, no, the four inch view, like so, and make the orientation to portrait. Make sure you're on the fourth tab, which is the pen, the attributes inspector. <clears throat> okay, now make sure your device, since we're working with the 4 inch screen, make it the iPhone 5, as I did earlier. Now, um, now we're gonna make sure our images is in our project, so open up our supporting files folder over here on the left. And now we're gonna make sure our images is in our project, so I'm gonna be using all these 9 images. You can make any of these with Photoshop or GIMP or anything. I I did not make the background the background of PNG, but I made the other ones, the so image one to eight. I made that in GIMP. Okay, so let's drag them all in to 
to our supporting files. Now we're going to make sure this box here is ticked. Copy items if needed and make sure create groups is ticked and click finish. Okay, so now what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to encode an NS array, how to um, make animations, how to hide objects, how to show objects, and how to how to design your interface for your app. So on the right here, you want an image view, and make sure it covers the entire view. If oops, if you're using a le an older version of Xcode, so let's say you're using Xcode um six or lower. It will automatically cover it up for you, but when I update it to Xcode 7, it, you have to resize it manually. I hate how they removed that, but that's how it became. And we want our image to be background at PNG, like so. Okay, now, next we're going to have another image view. It's going to be a lot, a lot smaller. Oop, let me put it in the center. And we'll set that as image1.png. Make sure it's like in the center actually, like see the things in the center. Okay. Now we're gonna we need two buttons. So we're gonna drag on a <coughs> sorry. Drag on one that says push me for a surprise. I'll resize that to becoming bigger. So I'll center I'll center this. Is there a way to center it? No, nope, doesn't matter actually. Now, what you want to do is command sin command v to copy and paste, and this will be hide. It's for the hide button. Oops. Okay. Now let me move that down a bit so it doesn't. All right. Okay. So now what we're gonna have to do now is hop onto our view controller dot h. Now, dot in Objective C dot h and dot m files. Dot h is implement. Sorry. Dot h is header files. Dot m is implementation files. Dot h is where you where you declare the IB outlets, where you declare the actions, where you declare IB actions, and where you declare integers and booleans. So, what we're gonna do now in between here, just be just underneath our ad interface, we're gonna do an open curly bracket and drop some lines, um, and make some more room underneath, and we're gonna say IB outlet UI image view space asterisk, and we're gonna call this hello world image. IB outlet UI image view space asterisk and we're gonna call this background. So for the background picture, separate them for the buttons now. So you want <coughs> you a button and call it whatever you want. Make sure all begins with an asterisk before you enter it. And we're gonna call this one hide. And the other one to show. Oops, let me make sure capitals are in the right place. And now, underneath this closing curly bracket, this is where we declare our actions. Make some room. You can. You don't have to. Doesn't matter how much room you make. You can like make it like I don't know, like a a hundred space. Doesn't really matter. Um, what what we're gonna do now is do sorry declare an IB action. So do a uh, um dash open bracket IB action close bracket. We're gonna call this show image. End it with a semicolon. And do the same thing for hide image. Okay, now what these two are. So what we what we did um was um declare IB actions called show image. This is for this is the code for the show button which we declared as well IB button. Hide image is the one that we're gonna do. So it which is this button here hide which will hide the hello world text and and so that yeah that, that's all it actually does. And um, this will also hide itself um, if you want. This act this will make it more appealing. You don't have to hide it, but just to make things nice and tidy. Okay, now what's next to do is go back to your storyboard <coughs> and click the top view so it's highlighted blue. If you should if you should see three stuff here, exit, first responder, view controller. Go to our sixth tab along. And now you this is this is where you this is where your outlets are, the ones that you have declared in your header file. So drag your background picture to your background, drag the hello world image to the image, which will do the animations in to make it look like it's going up and down. So, and drag the show button to the, the to the push for surprise. The hide button push drag it here. 
Now, the receive actions on the very bottom of this. Drag the hide, oops. Drag the hide image to the hide button and select touch up inside. And same with the show image. Drag it here and say touch up inside. Right, so that's better. Now go to our implementation files, or you can say the M file, and we're gonna find our view did load. We'll find our open curly bracket. We'll find our closing curly bracket, and we'll find our super view did load. And we're gonna make a space in between. Now what this does is um it sorry what this does is it will this is the code where once the iPhone app loads up you will this code will run. This is like the first code to run the view did load. Um, make, make some space. If you, if you guys can hear background noise, that's just my brother. Doesn't matter. Um, okay. So what you're gonna, what you're gonna type now is um the image is gonna be hidden, right? The label. So with the hello world image at hidden equals yes. And we're gonna do um background dot hidden equals no. Cause you know background is what we need. And hide dot hidden oops equals yes. Show dot Oops, again, show that hidden equals no. Okay, so what we did here was um our hello world image is um is the um this one here, so this hello world picture here. However, this will be hidden when it first loads up. This will not be hidden because we did show that hidden. Let me show here. The show button will not be hidden, so we did equals no. Hide bot hide that hidden equals yes because because we want this to all these shows, so this hide button here will also be hidden. The background, obviously, this doesn't have really any purpose, but we just just nice to put it as well. Now, what we're gonna do is find our closing curly bracket, which will end the view did load like so. If you hover your um thingy, I don't know what you call it, it should light up yellow. So underneath that, make some room, just um to make it less confusing, and go back to your header file. And we're gonna copy this oops, copy this entire IB action with command C. Back to your implementation files or .m files. Underneath where where what where we just um, made a space in, call command V to paste. If you're on a Mac, command V. If you're on a PC in VirtualBox, it's a control C control V thing. <coughs> Alright, show image. This is so yeah, once since we have already linked this up, what we're gonna do now is code an NSRA and do another dot hidden. So first do hello world image dot hidden equals no. Just do everything as no. So hide dot hidden equals no. Show dot hidden equals no. All, all no. Actually no, it's good to hide the, the show button actually. Just do that now. Now we call them NSRA. So what we're gonna do is hello world dot image dot animation images equals open square bracket NSRA array with ob oops, objects. Now it's open square bracket UI image image named. Now what we're gonna do now is put the name of our eight images. So at sign open speech marks open speech marks close square back in a comma you're gonna um, remove the count integer that is actually useless and we're gonna make it repeat over and over so we're gonna do image one the png I will check to make sure you need the capitals correctly it's case sensitive so that's good to copy the image and just paste it just so you don't make a typo and what we're gonna do is paste it eight times so like so. Now, we're gonna change it all to image until eight. It depends on what on what your images are called. You can, if your images have a different name, just make it play how you want it in order. Now, we what we want to do now is make it so that it becomes bigger again. So, command C and command V. So, go seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we end it with a nil and bracket semicolon. Let's save a space. Okay. Now that is our NS array all set up. What we're gonna do is 
Now we're gonna actually make it so the animation will start. So we're gonna do some open square bracket, hello world image, space set animation, repeat count, and I'm gonna put zero because zero is infinite. This will, if you set it to zero, this whole thing will play infinitely, like forever and ever and ever, like we did earlier. <coughs> if you if you if you set it to one, it, this will play once. If you set it to like twenty times, it will repeat twenty times and stop. So we want this to repeat forever. So just set it to zero. Now, now you have to set the duration. So what what I mean by this is the um, duration of how long how long will the images switch? So actually, I'll set it to one because I am. Um, if you make it like zero point five or something like that, it will. It will, you know, like move so fast that it will be like, you know, it, it won't be nice to look at. It will move so fast, so just set it to one or two, or however you want it. That is how fast these sixteen images will switch. Oops. Okay. Now you're gonna do one last thing. Open square bracket. Hello world. Image. Space. Start. Animating. Alright, yeah, that, that is it. So now, let me show it to you. We're not done yet, we still have to do the hide image, but... We still have to do the hide button, but we'll, I'll just show you what we have did done so far. Wait for it to load up. See? Now it... See how the thing hid itself, but now, when we do the hide button, it crashes the app. That's because we haven't, um, coded yet what happens when you push it, so... Now all we have to do is go back, this is the debug menu, See, this is what's really important, it tells you what crashed it. This thing here below, the debug menu, my absolute favorite. It's too bad, it takes up too much space on it. So, copy your IB action, the hide image one, or whatever you called your second one. Back to your implementation files. Underneath your last curly bracket, which, which ends the, um, the show image one, as you can see it lights up. So right underneath that. Make some more room, and we're gonna command V this thing and change it to an open curly bracket and drop some lines. Now, now this is really simple. All we need to do is just make them hidden. So simply do sh oops, sorry. What will we call hello world image dot hidden equals yes. Um, show dot hidden equals nope. Hide dot hidden equals yes. And background dot hidden equals no. Okay, now if you want, you can put the show button to no if you want to, but I will show you what happens. Yeah, well, yeah, it's pretty much all done actually. See how we have what we have done. I'll explain er, later what we have done after I show you the app. <coughs> Now well, that's it. This one, however, if you want this push me for a surprise to be hidden, because you know that, because you know, look what happens. They could just repeat the same thing over and over and over and over again. So what you can do, or if you want to um, disable it, so if you want to just do show show dot enabled equals no. So this means that it will disable itself when clicked. See how we cannot anymore click it but when we click hide it's still disabled so what you want to do now is go here and to show dot enable equals yes now rerun your application now here we go see so yeah, that's pretty much it thank you for watching um hope you guys enjoyed the video um hit like hit subscribe um hope you guys learned something today like how to make animations it's actually really simple and now, as you can see, we can't repeat the animation anymore because we already clicked it. So if you click hide, it will re-enable itself. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, see you guys in my next video, maybe my next Objective-C video. This is actually my first one. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!